In this video, I'm gonna go over how to use leg drive in the bench press, and we're starting right now. What's up everybody, my name is Dante. If you're new to the channel and you'd like to see how to get stronger and build more muscle, start now by subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you don't miss anything. One of the best things I learned on how to increase your bench press is actually how to utilize leg drive. As some of you may not know, the bench press isn't just an upper body movement, it's a full body one. From your legs, your core, your upper back, everything is working in tandem to work through the full range of motion and get you as strong as possible. So what is leg drive and how do we use it? Leg drive is very, very simple. All you're gonna be thinking about doing is pushing your feet through the ground and applying that force from your feet up into your upper body as you're pressing. This is gonna allow you to use more weight, your back's gonna be a lot more solid on the bench press, and it's gonna keep your hips from shooting up like you see a lot of people doing in the gym. The whole goal of leg drive is to make sure that you have a stable position for your lower body when you're benching. You see a lot of people, they're flailing their legs around, which doesn't make much sense if you're trying to get as strong as possible. You're trying to create a stable platform with your upper back and your legs. This is gonna allow you to keep your back in a strong, solid position, which is necessary if you wanna bench big weights. If you don't do this, then every time you bench, you're slowly gonna lose that position, and unfortunately, you're not gonna get much stronger if your back isn't in a strong, solid position. So make sure you do this every single time. So with this in mind, when we're actually doing the bench press, we wanna think about pushing our feet through the ground, and to do this, we push the feet through and try to extend our legs like we're doing a leg extension. This is gonna make sure that the quads and everything else are activated and we're driving that power from that lower body up into the upper body. As soon as the upper body is locked in and you have the back set up in the right position, you have a slight arch, then you can start pushing from there. And you'll notice within one session, you're gonna be able to get a lot stronger, a lot quicker. If you aren't doing this properly, then you're gonna slide around on the bench you're not gonna have that strong, stable platform to push off of, which is your upper back. And on top of that, you're not gonna get as strong on the bench press. I've seen this many, many times. Make sure you're doing this correctly. If you're not, you're not gonna get much stronger. The last thing you wanna think about doing is while you're actually doing the bench press, every single time you take the bar out of the rack, you're driving your feet through the ground. So make sure you do this properly. Make sure you aren't flailing around with your feet. It doesn't make much sense whatsoever. Just do it correctly and you'll notice a big difference in your bench press strength. My name is Dante. If you'd like to learn how to get stronger and build more muscle, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. Thank you all for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.